So guys, I hope you know that we believe in loving all people, no matter their race, their religion, or where they're from. Do you have any cavities? What's that? Yeah. My teeth are clean. Yeah. My teeth are cleaner. Hell's itch. Jackson is awesome. He is an ambassador for Christ, an ambassador for wrestling everywhere he goes. Ooh, yeah. It flew. Mm -mm -mm. Flew. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here we go! Nation. So guys, I just went live on Instagram, on my Instagram, and it was so awesome chatting with all of you guys, and I want to start doing that more often. So my Instagram's T underscore R-A-K-E-M, and go check it out, guys. It was just super fun to chat with all you guys, and I love doing that, and I want to start doing it more. And also, on my video on Tuesday, I did something where it's called premiering, so I get a chat with everybody in this live chat box for five minutes before the video begins and I can just chat with everybody and then like probably another 30 minutes afterwards or until the video ends and it's so awesome to talk to all of you guys and learn things about you guys and answer your questions so make sure you guys check that out I'm gonna try to do it next week as well guys we've been praying for the people in New Zealand I don't know if you guys heard about it but there was a huge mass murder there so guys I hope you know that we believe in loving all people no matter their race their religion or where they're from so always remember to spread love, not hate. And that's what we believe in. We love all people and please pray for the people in New Zealand. There was even a guy there. He was, my mom said that he's, he's her hero because he went out, he saw the guy that was shooting everybody and he, he threw, a, threw something at him and he chased the guy off and the guy got caught after that. And he was, he was just a hero, so. We, we've been praying for them and we love all you guys. We're always praying for you too. And please pray for them all as well. The people in New Zealand, the people who lost their families and the people who were shot as well. And there's many injured and there was, there was a lot of people that died as well. So pray for them and we love you guys and we'll get to the video. So spread sunshine. Hey, Sunshine Nation. So we have some big news, lots of things going on here. Lots and lots of changes. So, Brayton has been gone a little longer than we anticipated because he went to Utah, that's where his health insurance is. He went there to get brain therapy because he's had several concussions in the past. He also got his lip taken care of. Um, I know you know before we were worried about cancer. They were still a little bit worried, so they did another biopsy and they actually cut deeper down and cut all of it out so he's not gonna have any trouble anymore of it coming back. So, he's good, no cancer, there's no cancer at all. And his brain is, he's feeling clear from all the, the um, concussions. So that went fabulously well. And also though, he went for an MRI for his shoulder. And oh, you guys, poor Brayton is going to have to have surgery. He last fall in football, he had an injury and we went, took him to the ER, but they didn't, they couldn't really tell anything until he was able to get an MRI. And in the MRI, they said it is a torn labrum. He is going to have to have surgery April 15th. But the fabulous news is, is that Brayden will be coming back here for a little um, celebration and everything before he goes off um, back for surgery. When he goes for surgery, he'll have to be gone for a while because he'll have to have physical therapy and everything like that. And, Luke is leaving sooner than we thought. So he's going on his mission. He hasn't put in his papers yet, but in order for him to go on a mission and be a missionary, he has to get all this medical and dental stuff taken care of because we don't know where he'll go, but he'll be gone for two years and he might, he might end up in a foreign country, this third world, and he won't be able to get medical care. So he has to get a root canal. He has to get his wisdom teeth taken out. And his insurance is in Idaho still. So he's going to fly back to Idaho to get all that taken care of and get all that and heal from that. We're all gonna meet back in June for a camp in Utah. So we will all see each other again, but we're gonna have a big party here in April. So Brayden will be back next week. And cause I know a lot of you have been asking, we all miss him so much. We're gonna have one big last like party and goodbye thing with them all. And then they're both gonna be gone again for a while. 
Anyway, we love you so much. This video is a little bit different. We have some awesome um, little trip to the dentist, you know, because we didn't even video, but Luke and Jackson have been going for, Luke's, well, Luke's been going to the dentist to make sure he has everything on, on track for his mission. And also, I want, we, Juliana, hi. <laughs> also, I have some video that's a little bit old, but I needed to post it just from a week ago because Jackson was an angel. He's been an angel all week. We took his phone away because he wasn't getting his scout, Eagle Scout stuff done. But to show how sorry he's been, he's been cooking, he's been doing laundry, he's just been serving nonstop. And um, he insists it's not to get his phone back. He just wants to show us that he cares so much and he's sorry that he wasn't on top of things more. So I have to show you a clip of that because it's super, super sweet. And we got our drone working, so check out this video. We're so excited to have you with us here today. We love you. Hey, Sunshine Nation. Whoa. We're on our way to the dentist. Juliana, Jane, and I, we're gonna get our teeth clean and we're gonna see if we got any cavities. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Jane, do you think you'll have any cavities? You ate a lot of candy. I don't know. Yeah. And do you think you'll have some? No. Only one way to find out. Let's go. We're almost there. Are you at the dentist office? Yeah. Do you have any cavities? What? Do you have any cavities? What's that? That's whenever you're like, you eat too much candy. No? You don't have any cavities, do you? No. No. Guess who else didn't have any cavities? Mariah. Mariah or? And Jaden. They didn't have cavities, did they? No. Yeah, but guess what you're going to get done today? My teeth. Your teeth are going to get what? Clean. Yes, they are. Are you excited about your teeth getting clean? Yay. Here, i got to check on JJ. All right, JJ. Oh, wow, JJ. Give me a big smile. Yeah. Did you get your teeth taken out? No. No, you didn't. Did you get he's your... Doing a really good job Is he doing a good job? Yes. He's doing JJ, you are doing a great job brushing? Yes. Give me five, bro. Yeah. You're the man. Hey, Juliana, you ready to get started? Yeah, you're doing good, huh? They said JJ's doing a good job of brushing his teeth. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? Are you expecting that? <laughs> you can't even brush your teeth. Alright guys, we went to the dentist. How'd it go? It was awesome. <laughs> you touched it. <laughs> you guys all happy? What you what you so happy for, man? The dentist went well? Because yeah. My teeth are clean. My teeth are cleaner. <laughs> Mine are white. Mine are white. What about you, Nana? Mine are good. She what? brushed her teeth. Mine white. Yay. They're white. Those are green. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Abe is doing his spring cleaning. Yes, he's doing a great job. Papers everywhere. Jackson, Jackson brought you lunch. This to me. Jackson, you are the what nicest. Is... But you didn't even see that he brought you lunch too. He did not. Yes, he just did. What is that drink? I don't know. I'm about to try it though. Lemonade. Homemade. Lemonade. From scratch. Why'd you do it, Jackson? So I'm making lunch, everybody. So I'm getting oh. eggs, everybody, right now. Thank you, Jackson. This is the first thing I'm going to be eating today. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, he put garlic salt on the bread. Ooh, good touch. Are you getting one too in a second? Yeah. Yep. And I'm getting lemonade. No way, I can't wait to try it. Whoa. You guys, Luke got a horrible, horrible burn. What are they calling it, Luke? Hell's itch. Hell's itch. It happens uh, like two days after you get a sunburn. It's just like intense itching. It feels like I'm being bit by 
fire ants all over my shoulders and my back and my arms. Oh, I'm hoping my hands are freezing. Yeah? It Put him on his back and you'll be warm again. It only affects a small percentage of people who get sunburned. His legs are just shaking. She's already ice cubes on him. Not getting much relief though, huh? Unbearable agony because of a mere sunburn. Not to worry. Your agony is real. It will end. And you can feel better right now by taking a really hot shower. Or, if you have it, smear on some peppermint oil. All, All right. of a sudden, it feels like swarms of ants are crawling under your skin. It's been called the hell itch. The feeling is utterly debilitating. You can't think, you can barely talk, and if you're not careful, you can easily slip into a blind panic. It's a maddening, body-twitching, hand-shaking, insatiable itch that literally had me in tears. Feeling okay? Yeah. Took a hot shower. It's definitely numbed it a little bit. What made you do this, Jax? Um, sorry, since no one's gonna eat lunch. <laughs> maybe I, I should make it. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you guys, Jackson received a very special award at the wrestling banquet. My goodness, my heart was deeply touched. Um, Jackson's someone special in the family that we know that if we send him with anyone, he can be trusted to do what is right. He's not perfect by any means, but I don't need to worry about him getting into any trouble. And it just felt really, it was a beautiful experience to see that recognized at their banquet. So watch this. This is the person who, there's a couple different things here. Number one, they're really, they're the most coachable. They're always listening. They do what we do as coaches. They, they motivate other people. They, they bring an energy to the room. But they're also the person that you feel like in a way, if I had to step away and I had to pick a kid to actually step in and be a coach, that's going to be technical, hold them accountable, encourage them. Because, guys, we are very encouraging these kids. That's how we coach. We are on them all the time about working hard, but it is always an encouragement, encouragement thing. So this young man, I, I can see him being a coach later on. He is extremely coachable. You love being around him. His attitude is always positive. He is a super encourager to all the rest of the people on the team. Jackson Mills. Jackson is awesome. He, he, Jackson, he, he shakes everybody's hand. He's always got a smile on his face. Everybody on the other teams he's talking to and chatting. He is, he is an ambassador for Christ, an ambassador for wrestling everywhere he goes. He's awesome. We're trying to get this drone working. On mission control. He's mission control. So I am on beginner mode. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Is the drone taking off? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it just did it. Woo! Got it up, guys. So this is super good quality. We can see the house and it's nighttime. Both the, house the houses. Right That's so cool. The drone has landed. The drone has dropped. There we go. <laughs> the drone has landed. Oh, the drone has not landed. So, we got the drone, dude. The drone actually flew tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so I had to get Luke involved, because as I was trying to figure this out, Luke was kind of like looking up YouTube videos on how to work this stuff. So we got it, and I had to get Tyson to come and video. Ooh, yeah. But it flew. It flew. Mm -hmm, flew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, it may be a little bit dark, but it's, it's all good. Tomorrow, it'll be light when we go out there and we'll get it going on. Are we gonna take it to the Boom. beach? What? Yeah. 
We might take to the beach. We might just go out, shoot some stuff. Anyway, just going to go and find out what we're doing with this thing before we try to do any crazy shots. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bye-bye, drone. <laughs> Spread sunshine, guys. Spread sunshine. Subscribe to 51 Games on YouTube. Sunshine Mafia. I'm Isabel Schultz, and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just wanted to say spread sunshine.